Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Thank you for joining me in the backyard. I am going to use this 16 by 20 inch canvas as best I can with some black paint, which was probably too much, but maybe not. This is my OXO omelette turning spatula, and I'm hoping against hope. Uh, it's another one of those interesting canvases that doesn't want my black paint. Okay, well this is going to be very interesting indeed then. Because whatever happens now may happen again tomorrow on top of this. But uh, for right now we'll see what happens. I'm planning on using a long chain and some gold paint and some white metallic paint. And not doing anything fancy in particular other than moving my chain around and enjoying the process as art therapy. And I really think I could probably use another color like I keep thinking the iridescent purple. So maybe... Maybe, you never know. My muse does whisper quite loudly in my ear occasionally. So we'll see how things look. And I'm almost covered. If you have one of these, just realize, not only does it show you where stuff is, but the, the more level you hold it to the surface of your canvas as you're spreading your paint, the more even of a layer you're gonna get. At least that's the way it seems to me. And a, and a very light hand on the drag. Hopefully that works. All right, back in the bucket with that. I kind of want to just cross over a few places to see what happens at first. I've got copper and the white. I'm going to use my I'm going to use my short chain first. and figure that I can always go back and add more paint. I wasn't even really sure how the gold would work, and I'm still not. It could sink away. I could put bigger puddles and they would pull further. But I really wanted to, I think I'm just gonna have to try the copper. That's the way it seems to me. Although I'm having kind of a good time right now. I don't know how much of it will show up. I really shouldn't even post the video unless I figure out what's, uh, what the dry version looks like. But it's really pretty subtle. I think if I put the copper in there it's going to remind me of tiger stripes. But I'm tempted to go ahead Put some more gold in. No, I'm not such a scaredy cat about it. I think that might be a different batch of gold in a slightly different color. I haven't completely decided to add or not add the um, copper, but I think the copper is going to get a shake. What's that? Whatever it is, it can go away now. <laughs> so if I like the copper and it still feels like it needs something and the white doesn't work as well, I think I'm going to like that copper. I think. I've got silver too, I just remembered. And it's raining. Must be my lucky day. It did look like rain, but I'm mostly done. I keep wondering about turquoise in there. I think the silver will be interesting, but I kind of want the turquoise. Not only that, all bets are off. I'm just going to try the Art Mines Mysterious. Yes, I think so. I love copper and turquoise, so why not? 
might still be time for the for the white metallic. It's pretty subtle. Maybe some of the silver first. Because it'll operate the same way as the white. I'll put a highlight in. I think I need a lot more of that to have it become meaningful. It's not really coming out very easily. But I do like it. And I'm not cleaning my chain off. I'm still thinking about the white metallic and I could put a much different color in there but I'm not sure I want to change up what I've got so far. I'm kind of liking it. It's really very neutral. So it's tempting to go ahead and put flowers in everything since I started making flowers recently. Oops. A couple spirals probably wouldn't hurt anything. I think I want to clean my chain off. It is a big ball chain. A little ball chain will work just as well. I'm going to put that aside, grab a smaller piece of chain, and maybe play just a, just a moment. That is the Anita's White Pearl. I want to lead it away first. This is along the lines of a painting I just did with a lot of bright colors. And I really just wanted to try it with um, less bright colors. So I could drag this down in a single strand or up. I lost my white. Not so sure about that there. If you lift on it, it makes the size, it graduates the size of the spiral smaller. I am going to put that in sideways just to see how I like that. I don't think I've gone too far yet. Temptation says put black in. Let's just grab a single strand. And they're not really flowers, but they are making some interesting lines. I wonder how much more white I really want in there. I will do some waves at some point. I'm really getting close to being done and I've got plenty of time left. I really like those little cells I'm about to annihilate. So I'm going to try not to. <laughs> so I keep turning this in hopes of figuring something out. And I think what I want is to either put dark purple in 
or to try a different shade of turquoise. And I think that's going to be the thing. I do, I do. And I can also drag that out in a single strand. That one might have been a little more... destructive than I had in mind. I'm trying to be subtle, but subtle is not my <laughs> is not my forte. I want to put some gold in again. I'm still not over the idea that I might want some purple in here. I don't use any silicone in my artwork, so when it makes cells, it's basically because the deco art pouring medium flow troll mixture I use is allowing them to happen. And the GAC 800 allows me to keep my paint thick or let it dry thick. I'm, in, I'm going in flower territory now. I've got to be careful. I don't really want to do that. I just want little insignificant spirals. Subtle gradations. And then she puts a big white blob in there and that's the end of the subtleness. I am actually using... Nope, I hallucinated. I thought I had one of those clips on the end of my chain. Just for a moment. I could have sworn it was right there. So, a little bit more and I'm done. I said that, didn't I? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Can't trust me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some water and some waves this way. still think the purple would be nice. And I'm going to try it. But am I going to try the dark stuff or am I going to try something lighter? That's your answer. I'm going to drag this through it. I don't think that hurt anything. I'm not sure if it helped it either, though. Maybe just on one bottom corner. I'm going to do what I like to do, which is combine two things at once. I got two minutes left. Yes, that's much better. If I put the purple with the turquoise, and I lay my end down, Maybe just a couple more, very strategically located.
think I have to go with an odd number, so... I like going back and using the, the paint that's left in the little ball. So maybe one more over here and and done. And don't believe me because I don't tell the truth. I don't know what I'm going to do before I do it. That wasn't quite positioned exactly as I had hoped. I kind of want some of that paint right there to go right back where it started. And I'm going to take some of my turquoise and do that. All right, so I made it down to the two-minute mark, so I should tell you if, I, if you would like to help me out, and I would love for you to help me out, please feel free to uh, shop the Amazon link at no added cost to you. Uh, that's where you can find the OXO omelet turning spatulas and the Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas. Those are the small ones, and that cannot stay because it was a little eyeball just staring at me. And this one is going to get a little bit of everything. So I love you guys. There's over 80,000 of you uh, subscribed, and on a good day, 1% of you watch. So thank you for watching and still being here and helping me out. And if you would like to help me out further, watch more videos. Binge watch, albeit. Yeah, I'm going to twirl that around so I don't... All right, so I am going to torch. I got a little piece of naked canvas there. Um, it's more of a pattern than it is a composition, but I still like it. And it was a good experiment for me. I want to know everything that I can know about the reactions of things. If you're interested in the paint pouring recipe that I use, it's under the video, along with Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Facebook groups that are for students and collectors are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors. And if you'd like to go shopping, I'd love for you to go shopping. I've got a Shop Now button on my Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Totes and more. I don't know what that thing is doing there. But I want to modify it so it doesn't bother my eye. I'd like a little turquoise. just to make it integrate. I love you guys. And uh, I really appreciate the wonderful comments you guys give me every day. You're going to be gone in a second if you aren't already. If you want to get in this month's uh, drawing, check the end screens for the, uh, for the ex exhibition video as I quickly look around to see what I can find. Um, that'll show you whatever the drawing prize is. It's a $10 minimum. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's ever contributed to keep me painting. It was fun while it lasted. And uh, I'm hoping to make it to April 2020. That'll be my two-year anniversary. And other than that, I don't know what's going to happen. I might, uh, I might wind up promoting videos in groups. I don't know how that's going to happen. I have a lot, of, a lot of information yet to research before that can happen. But right now, we do have a book called Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link. It's the first hundred videos, tools, and processes. If uh, you're interested in that, please go check it out. We're hoping to have volume two out by Christmas. I'm slowly pecking away at it, and I'm about a third of the way through getting ready, and we're not in November yet, so. I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Studio.